everyone, welcome to The Daily Mix. I'm your host, Gina Cheatham, AKA The Clever Connoisseur, your budget-friendly luxury lifestyle specialist. And we're officially in the last few days of summer. I know, I'm sad about it too. However, it appears that the fall has already arrived, which is kind of sort of okay, because that means first season. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to tell you all about the things that make St. Louis a great place to live, work, and play. This week, the proceeds from several events will be donated to support great causes. So keep watching to learn how you can support our city, hear what St. Louisans had to say about the importance of supporting local talent and businesses, and find out how you can win two free tickets to go on the wine trip to remember. Our special guest this evening is Everett Johnson, a gifted custom handbag designer. Well. I'm excited for our show, I hope you are. So let's start one of the most exciting hours of t on television and I'm getting ready to get in the mix. Come on. Tonight, it's all about celebrating the St. Louis community from our news anchors to business executives, nonprofits, designers, and more. This past weekend, I hit the streets and asked several people, how important is it to you to support local businesses, vendors, and talent? And this is what they had to say. Um, I'm personally very appreciative of the opportunity to start my own business here from $100. It's a national company. It's 20 years in existence. Say about a seven, just because it's nice to see people that you know in the businesses around your area, and it's not like a corporate um, place, so you feel more like at home. I think that it's absolutely a 10 to support local artists and business in the St. Louis area. I'm supporting my girl, Yoro Newsom and her awesome design. And that necklace is everything. You did the darn thing, Euro. I want one too. Send it on over, send it on over. And speaking of local talent, Miss Euro Newsom, a week from today, a live magazine is hosting Well Crafted, an event spotlighting creators of local well crafted goods. The event will take place at the Luminary on Cherokee Street as part of St. Louis Design Week, which is September 19th through the 25th. And while you're there, you'll experience interactive programming throughout the space and enjoy whiskey flights with delicious bites from local restaurants. Design Week's purpose is to promote and inspire design and creativity in St. Louis. And with almost 60 events this year supported by the community, you have a lot to choose from, even if you're not a designer. For more information about Well Crafted and St. Louis Design Week, visit their websites. Now, for more fun, make sure you check out the End of Summer Luau at 360 at the top of the Hilton downtown. Let's officially bid summer adieu and welcome a night of cocktails, tasty bites, and fun. The party's on Friday, September 18th and starts at 8 p.m. Guests will enjoy sweeping views, signature cocktails, fire breathers, a full pig roast, fireworks, and more. Last week, The Daily Meal, which offers dining news and trends, ranked 360 number 25 on a list of the world's 25 most amazing rooftop bars and restaurants. And so that you know, 10% of the party's proceeds will be donated to Wings of Hope. And for more information, go to the events page of 360's website. I love 360. Whenever I come from out of town, I always have to go there because I'm never ready to come back. But when I sit up there, I always feel like I'm someplace else, back on the coast like Miami. You know, it gives you a lot of flavor. I love it. You know, that's just me. And if you love pets like I do, hot air balloons and candlelight dinners, then make sure you attend the Glow in the Park. The Humane Society of Missouri is hosting their annual Balloon Glow in the Dark Dinner, which will be held rain or shine on Friday, September 18th. The VIP cocktail party begins at 6 p.m., followed by dinner, dancing, balloon glow viewing, and of course, a few fireworks. It wouldn't be St. Louis without them. 
Proceeds will benefit the Animal Cruelty Fund dedicated to investigating, healing, and preventing animal abuse. To purchase your tickets, go to their website. However, if you're like me and you love fashion and giving back as much as I do, make sure you check out the 6th Annual Inspire Fashion Show, which is also on Friday night, September 18th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Ameristar Discovery Ballroom in St. Charles. The event will include a networking and shopping reception with vendors, appetizers, and libations. You know I love libations. It will be followed by a runway show with a variety of attire representing specific cultures. Here's a quick look at the show from last year. How many people are ready to see your friends, your family, your colleagues, designs, fun stuff all night long? Tell us if you're ready. They also have a great after party plan where Inspire's next top model will be revealed. All proceeds from the event benefit the United Way of Greater St. Louis. And again, for more information and to purchase your tickets, check out their website, inspirefashionshow.com. This next week is all about wine sampling and sipping at the 13th annual wine opener presented by Perficient. It's a casual and fun evening of wine tasting benefiting the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. There'll be over 350 wine novices and experts in attendance with over, over 40, 40 domestic international wines. Ooh, that sounds good to me. Guests will also enjoy light appetizers and enjoy the exciting and fun-filled practice of bidding on items in both the silent and live auctions. Check out the website for more information. Now, next up is one of my favorite, favorite fall activities, the Great Forest Park Balloon Race this coming Friday and Saturday. The Great Forest Park Balloon Race is the oldest and most well-attended free hot air balloon event in the world. And this year, they celebrate 43 years. A skydiving team will perform before the race, then more than 150,000 spectators will watch 70 world-class balloon pilots compete. Other fun includes the Purina Children's Entertainment Area filled with pony rides, games and other activities for kids, including a photo contest and entertainment stage. And of course, concession stands will also be available all around the race site. Visit the Great Forest Park Balloon Race website to find out more about the schedule of events. I love the balloon races. And if you are lucky to get over to the Chase Park Plaza and get up on top, it is a spectacular view and you will love it. And of course, if you have some libations, it makes it even better. And speaking of libations, if you're ready to eat, eat, and eat some more, then the 11th annual Budweiser Taste of St. Louis will be the highlight of your weekend. It's this coming Friday through Sunday at the Chesterfield Amphitheater. This award-winning event is the ultimate, ultimate food experience. Free to the public, it showcases the cuisines of over 35 local restaurants. It also features concerts, chef battles, and an art walk and gift card giveaways. Take a look at this clip from a previous event. The taste has everything you need for a fun-filled time with family and friends. Check out their website for additional information. I love all these events with all this food, but that's why I keep gaining weight and I gotta keep hitting the gym. Ah, but a good thing is, is that winter is coming and I can throw on some clothes and cover it all up. How look today? Hey, but at any rate, speaking of family and friends, <laughs> there's another event with 12 hours of fun and the second annual South Grand Fall Festival. Beginning at 10 a.m. on Saturday the 19th, St. Louisans will celebrate everything that makes South Grand and its surrounding community unique. The celebration will feature local artists, musicians, dancers, and most of all, you guessed it, the great restaurants, services, and shops in the area. There'll also be some do-it-yourself crafty zones as well as several vendors at the event selling unique and vintage handmade items to check out the schedule 
of events, make sure you go to the events section of their website. And speaking of crafts, have you ever thought of mixing paint and music? Yeah, I know it sounds a little offbeat, however, Life in Color, the world's largest paint party is bringing the idea to life right here in St. Louis this coming Saturday at 6 p.m. in Soulard on 3rd Lafayette. This year's tour aims to answer the age-old question, how did color come to be? Fans can learn about the origins of paint through the almighty paint factory. Here's an idea of what you can expect. Wrong dance at the top of the show. <laughs> you thought you got me, but you didn't. But I mentioned a contest, and tonight I, the Clever Connoisseur, am giving away two free tickets to a lucky viewer to join me Saturday on a fun-filled winery day trip at the fabulous La Bourgeois Vineyards, where I won't be doing the nene. However, your tickets will include two round-trip bus excursion passes, a champagne continental breakfast on the bus ride there, where you will then be treated to a tour of the wine processing facility, which I've never done and I'm so excited about, and the gorgeous orchards, and you'll enjoy a lot of wine tasting of all the fabulous wines that they have to offer. And while you're catching a bite to eat, while you're overlooking the bluffs, yes, it's a beautiful view, you will be entranced with the smooth sounds of saxophonist Leo Q. Davis. Now, all you have to do is be the first to answer this question. Now, here's the question. How many glasses of wine are in a 750 milliliter bottle of wine? And no, mommy, you can't answer the question because you already know. But everybody else, hurry up and get your answer in before it's too late and send it to jabberwithgina at stltv.net and be the first to answer correctly and you'll be the lucky winner doing the nay nay with me. Ha <laughs> ha! For more details about the trip, check out the information on the screen. Now. For those of you who watched this first season of The Daily Mix, you'll recognize what we're getting ready to do. But for those of you who don't know, it's time for STL TV and The Daily Mix to celebrate you by saying, Happy Birthday to ya! Starting with Mr. Sonny Metcalf and Zondra Bryant. Also, you're going to say Happy Birthday to Marvin Mitchell. Happy Birthday, Marvin. He's doing big things around the city. And this lovely, lovely Buffy Blanchard. Happy birthday, Buffy. And Mr. James Barbie. Happy birthday, Mr. Barbie. And St. Louis native. He's living in DC now, but we still love him here. Mr. Don Calloway, happy birthday. And Rams fan, Mr. Craig Butler. What up, Craig? Happy birthday. And Miss Karen Messenger along with my line sister, Ms. Dawn Wright Williams. Happy birthday to you all. We also are here to highlight a former successful hairstylist and one of St. Louis's most sought after designers of handcrafted handbags and jewelry, Mr. Everett Johnson. Welcome to the Daily Mix, Everett. Yay, I'm so happy that you're here. <clears throat> Many of you, well, many of you out there may know Mr. Everett Johnson, but I'm going to ask you to tell us a little bit about your background. Um, I started off in the hairdressing industry back in 1989. And uh, my career was extremely, extremely hectic, busy, working uh, 12, 15 hours a day, every day. And um, I've always been a very creative person. But uh, for some strange reason, over the past five years, I just decided to uh, sit down and visit with it and give it a little time. So um, these are some of the things that I've been coming up with, including uh, painting. I've done some photography. And uh, all of that has pretty much birthed uh, this handbag line that I've been doing. 
well, last five years? I have to say, I'm not really surprised just because you've always been very fashion forward. You're a very handsome man, and all the ladies say that. But yes, you've always been very fashion forward. So how did you make that initial jump from one to the next? Because, I mean, you're creating custom handbags. That's not easy. That's not easy at all. So how did you do that? Well, for the record, I haven't completely jumped ship. Uh, I still service um, a clientele of women uh, from Wednesday to Saturday. And every little second of downtime I get, I'm always tinkering. Um, when I'm, before I leave to work, uh, when I get home from work, um, on the weekends, um, and this is where all of this stuff is birthed from. All right, well, let's dig in here because I see quite a few things that I really, really like and that I find quite interesting and I'm hoping that Santa will bring to me. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> this right here, gorgeous. Thank Can you, you tell me about this? What, what's this material? And of course, this is handcrafted, yes, right? Yes, completely, which is pretty much a lost art these days. It seems like everything that I'm finding is mass produced. So I've really kind of gone backwards in time. Uh, this is really basically how I pray. So the stuff starts basically like this bag, for example, the base is a cowhide okay. and on top is a faux um, lizard skin. Love it. So all of it I basically kind of envision in my head and I just really kind of follow that vision in hopes that once it's made tangible, it matches the vision in my head. So this is just a really kind of bold, but very simple uh, I love it. neutral color clutch bag that kind of transcends seasons. It does, and I was just like, I love this. Thank I you. absolutely love this. And it's full and it's lots of room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I think this goes great with my outfit. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Have a nice day. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I love this. Are Thank you, you following this season's trends? You know, you know that every year that comes out with fall trends, the spring trends. Are you following trends? Or are you following your heart? I don't believe in trends. I don't believe in trends. I go clearly on what my creative spirit tells me to do, and I stay true to it. But ironically, for some strange reason, it's matching what's going on in fashion today. And it's like when I look at fashion magazines, I don't look at it for inspiration. I look at what not to do. I want to do something completely opposite that the uh, mass market is, uh, is doing. Look at those. So this bag here. I love this. I'm sorry, I did not mean to make you no drop worries. it, but this is gore. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. But and you said something interesting before I go any further that you don't really follow the trend. No. You know, recently I had the chance to meet a lady by the name of Rita McGee, who is the Emmy Award winning stylist for the Empire. And she said, Trends, girl, we don't follow trends, we set the trends. Exactly. So it's whatever you're feeling. And the fact that you just said that, you know, I'm just like, okay. Confirmation. Confirmation comes in twos, so just do what you feel. Absolutely. And the, um, speaking of Emmy Award winning uh, stylist, you had a chance to meet Miss Rita McGee yourself, didn't you? I did. Uh huh. I did. Um, tell us about that. <laughs> or I'm going to tell everybody if you don't. The whole entire story? or Well, well I had an opportunity to meet uh, Rita McGee via social media. And um, I wanted to propose an idea uh, to her that uh, she wasn't at the opportunity at that particular time, rather. She wasn't able to uh, make that happen for me, but she was actually able to uh, kind of present me with a really amazing opportunity. Um, a fashion stylist and wardrobe stylist picked up my line for um, an upcoming show for an upcoming show. Can yes. we say the name of the show? Yes. Zoe, the new show on BET, you will see his handbags featured there. Yes. Thank you, Miss Rita McGee, but oh my God, you're doing great Thank you. things. Thank and you. like I said, I love these bags and I'm sure everybody out there is looking and saying, I love that one, I want that one. How can they get in touch with you to purchase a bag? Right now at the moment, um, I'm selling everything kind of like in bespoke 
uh, manner through my website, which is uh, ej4elizab.com. So if you go there to visit, there's a little small form that you can fill out in the end, and uh, your bag will be on its way. Okay, and so can I give you a design, or they're already chosen for us? Well, in the form, is gonna ask you a few questions. Once you fill out that form, then I'll magically create a bag specifically for you. Well, thank you for giving me that information because you will magically be creating one for me and St. Louis. Thank you for watching tonight's show and make sure that you reach out to Mr. Everby to get your bag too, but not before I do. And make sure you like us on Facebook, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, and, and until next time, let me slow down. Live the high life for low cost and keep your coins in your purse. <laughs> Just like I'm about to do. Are you the one? <laughs>